People fall for many reasons in any location. Many times they are not injured, just unable to get up without assistance. But on occasion, injury may result requiring immobilization on a backboard and evacuation for transportation to a local medical facility. The Mangar Elk Emergency Lifting Cushion is designed to lift both injured and uninjured people from the ground in a way that avoids hazardous manual handling and maintains the dignity of the person requiring assistance. The Elk is compact, Sir? lightweight, portable, right. and easy to use when key principles and procedures are followed. And despite the size and simplicity of the system, the Elk is rated to lift up to 1,000 pounds, eliminating the need for manual lifting. The ease of use explains why the elk is now commonly used in a range of settings, for example, in private residential homes, in hospitals and assisted care facilities and communities. It is also used in special schools, in the community, and by emergency services, including the ambulance service. Let's take a closer look at the lifting system and how to prepare the unit for a lift. The Elk is comprised of three main pieces, the Mangar Airflow Compressor, the four-way hand controller, and the Elk Cushion. First, we'll start by describing the power supply for the system, the Mangar Airflow, a low-pressure battery or electric compressor. To begin, position the Airflow Compressor in a flat or upright position and plug in a suitable socket. If the socket is connected to a wall switch, switch it on. To set up the battery version, check the battery gauge on the front panel to make sure the airflow has a full charge by pressing and holding the question mark button. All four circles lit indicates a full charge which should complete three to four lifts depending on the weight of the person being lifted. If there are only two circles lit, it is advised that the unit be recharged using the charging unit included with the battery version. To charge the unit, plug the appropriate end into the Mangar airflow and the electrical end into a 110 volt plug. The red light will glow. The green light on the charging unit will glow while the batteries are charging and will go out when they are sufficiently charged. It should take about eight hours to fully charge. If convenient, the airflow may remain continuously on the charger when not in use as the batteries cannot be overcharged using this charger. The compressor has two operating speeds that can be adjusted to control the lift. To adjust the speed, locate the speed adjustment switch on the bottom of the unit. The switch allows the user to toggle between low and high. Proceed as follows for both the electrical and battery version. Connect the air hose on the four-way control with the white end fitting into the air outlet socket on the side of the compressor. The connector will click into place when firmly pushed into the outlet. To release the hose, press the paddle down on the connector and pull. When you are ready to inflate the cushion, Press the auto button and hold until you hear the compressor make a thump sound. The airflow unit is now ready for operation. Next is the Mangar Elk emergency lifting cushion. The cushion is constructed of four independent polyurethane coated nylon sections, each of which is radio frequency welded to the next. The Elk is puncture resistant and comes with a two year warranty. Each section contains a brass intake valve, which is color-coded and numbered to correspond with the valve contained in the four-way hand controller. On the bottom of the cushion, you will notice two stability bars. These provide stability when lifting an uninjured person to a seated position. If the stability bars are replaced by the yellow stretcher bars, the platform of the cushion is now increased and will allow for the placement and lifting of a person on a backboard. For compact storage of the cushion, begin by completely deflating the cushion. 
After folding the unit in half, simply tuck the stability bars into the space between the handle and the cushion. The elk is also easy to clean. Thoroughly wash the cushion with a soap and water solution and then lay out the cushion to dry. Finally, there is the patented four-way hand controller. This unit is designed with four internal valves connected to four output hoses. On the controller are buttons numbered one through four. These buttons correspond to the four hoses exiting the controller. When matched properly to the cushion, this will allow the operator to determine which section of the cushion will be actively inflated. The compressor will automatically stop as each cushion fills regulated by internal shutoff valves. It is easy to connect and disconnect through the use of quick release valves. Another option for deflating the Mangar Elk is to disconnect the airflow hose from the compressor. Once the hose is disconnected from the compressor, hold down each button in reverse order beginning with four followed by three two, and finally one. It is crucial that each bladder is completely emptied before deflating the next. As we indicated earlier, the Mangar Elf lifting system can be used to lift an uninjured or injured person from the floor, either to a sitting position or on a backboard up to the appropriate height, which allows a lateral slide onto a gurney. This portion of the film is intended to demonstrate these two functions of the elk, as well as the lifting of an uninjured patient from a bathtub. One major principle to keep in mind with all lifts utilizing the elk is that the correct positioning on the cushion will result in a balanced lift. It is therefore important to note that each patient is an individual with their own specific weight distribution. Care must be taken to ensure that there is sufficient assistance available with respect to the patient's size and or shape. Begin by assessing the situation in which the patient has fallen, giving attention to the size, shape, and condition of the patient, as well as the layout of the room in which the person is present. If available, locate items in the room such as a table or sturdy chair that may be placed next to the person to provide additional support. In the case of a person who has fallen, Follow your standard procedure to thoroughly examine the person and determine that no injury is present or establish a treatment plan if needed according to your protocol. You can then proceed using one of three techniques depending on the position and ability of the patient. 